Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to this class. Welcome to the free black soap master class. I am so excited. This class is finally on. I have been wanting to do this class for a while now, so I figured it is high time that I uh get this class done. So I welcome you all to this class. I am um, it's going to uh be as exciting as I have promised you and um packed with values. So welcome you all to this class. This class is for you if um, you're trying to learn how to make black soap. You've never worked with black soap before and you're trying to make black soap for the first time. This class is for you because um, <clears throat> I'm going to be taking you through the details, the necessary step-by-step -step details that you need to understand and know how uh, black soap is made. And um, if you've been taking few trainings online but you discovered that it is not what you wanted you want what you want is something that will teach you how to make a recipe not follow someone's ready-made recipe i welcome you to this class this class is for you and if you have been making formulations uh, uh, if you have been making formulations with black soap before you're looking to improve your skills um as a formulator welcome to this class i promise you're going to gain one thing or two before the end of this class meanwhile this class it's is going to be 30 minutes long i hope i do not spend more than that so i'm quickly going to go into the class so i spend exactly 30 minutes i don't get to spend more than that so uh once again i welcome you to this master class i am going to take you through step by step the strategy that i used to formulate black soap paste for a brighter more radiant and glowing skin so if you want to know uh, if you want to make black soap that works, you have to understand how to make recipes. And um, making recipes is not just about putting together um, ingredients you love and then uh, just mixing everything in. It, no, it is much more than that. You have to understand how to make recipe the proper way. Uh, uh, for a skincare formulator time, we call it how to draw a formula. So you have to understand how um to how to build your own formula how to create your own formula you have to understand how it is done for you to be able to create your own formula so um you have to yeah you have to understand it before going into production you can't just pick up a recipe out there and just boom go straight into producing no it doesn't work that way if you want to make a product that is going to work for you and going to deliver results you need to understand how to make a formula so let me tell you a little about me um i am happy to be connected with you through this master class it is such an honor i am happy you took out your time to listen to me my name is amida but um i go by skin tutorials on instagram and i help aspiring natural skincare formulators and enthusiasts to help develop their skills and make money selling their own skincare product so if you are hoping to be a natural skincare formulator or you're already a natural skincare formulator and you want to develop your skills more or you are just so passionate about skincare and you want to learn how to make your own products the proper way as i said before i welcome all of you to this class i am so happy to be serving you right now like that was the purpose of creating my page on instagram to serve you to share my experience with you to share my knowledge so far um, as a skincare formulator with you to help you to guide you through your own journey and make you understand better the art of formulation so um i am so excited to be here with you today and uh i have been able to improve my skills by researching and experimenting new things over the years i have tried many things i have tried different things uh, I've made different type of lotions. I make different type of black soap formulation. And uh, this, the one we're making here, happens to be one of my experiments. And so I have been working. I made a lot of research. I have been working with different ingredients, just so I can improve my skills to uh and then expand my knowledge about formulation and skincare in general. So um um before I go into the class. I want to advise you to do the same. It is very important for you to um, ensure you um, try as much as possible to experiment. Try as much as possible to try new things. 
keep yourself updated always research try to take your time to research each of the ingredients that you want to use uh in your product it helps a lot trust me it will help to develop your skills as a formulator i have tried this out and it has helped me many times and now i am encouraging you to do the same so i don't want to waste too much of your time with my pep talk let's go right into the class so starting out this class i am going to be starting uh with why you need to understand product formulation why is product formulation important is it is important because um how do i say this okay a lot of things go into making a high quality product you can just uh pick up some ingredients out there um maybe you've heard your colleagues or other formulators talk about a particular ingredient of i of about how much function it has or how well it performs and then pick it up and put it together uh ingredients here and there and then just go on to make your product no it doesn't work that way you have to understand product formulation to be able to make products that of high performance so you have to understand how these ingredients interact you have to understand whether they are compatible how to determine their compatibility you have to understand that you have to so understand their solubility are they soluble in water are they soluble in oil or they happen to be soluble in other solvents you have to understand that you have to understand the concept of ph and there are so many other things there you have to learn so you can't just jump right into making products you can't just take a few trainings online and then just go on to production no it doesn't work that way you have to understand how formulation is done learning the formulation skills will make you understand how a high performance product is made products that will deliver you results products that will give results products that will not harm or irritate the skin you have to understand formulation to be able to make this kind of products so that is the reason why i am taking my time to take you through each step that i take to make this black soap paste so i hope you stick with me till the end of this class and by the way i want to know who i want to know those that attended this class so please do me a favor screenshot uh, screen grab your uh your screen right now and um uh post it on your insta story tagging me to know uh, I want to know the people that attended this class. I am begging for reviews right now. <laughs> Seriously, I need reviews from you. I want to know how this class has helped you. So please leave reviews for me on my page. Post, story, post on your Insta story and tag me to know how much this class has helped you. And um, it will be lovely to get DMs from you too, uh, from you also. Uh, if you have questions after the class, feel free to send me a dm i am always happy to answer your questions because it helps me to it helps me to broaden my knowledge if you happen to have asked me a question that i don't have an answer to i i feel the need to go on to research more about that question so i'll be able to provide you answers so it helps me it kind of helps me to also uh expand my own knowledge so please feel free to ask me questions um um, always in my DM to answer you. So, um, going straight to the class now. How I formulated this black soap paste for a brighter, glowing skin. So, um, um, going into formulation, there are some things you have to take into consideration. There are steps. There are guidelines you have to follow in making a product. You don't just uh, I choose this ingredient. I choose that one, and then go just combine them anyhow and just go into production no i said through how i formulated this black soap paste the steps that i followed the guidelines the step-by-step -step guidelines that i followed to make this black soap first of all i started out to um define my type of product define the and then i went on to define my product aesthetics i then chose my ingredients drew my formula before getting into production now these are the five steps that i followed what is the purpose of going through these steps um i want to have a look i want to have uh, an idea uh, um, an, an image of what i want my final product to look like which is why i am going through all, all the steps one by one so first of all i am going to start out with the type of product 
um defining the type of products that i want to make i want to make a black soap paste yeah a soap that is made with black soap that is black soap paste i want to make and i want it to brighten the skin and mix mix the skin glow which is the function of the product so i know the type of black soap that i want to make is one that brightens and makes the skin glow and then what came to my mind after de defining the type of products i want to make is vitamin c vitamin c is an ingredient it's um uh, it's a, a very wonderful vitamin that has a lot of benefits for the skin it is known for its antioxidant properties it helps to lighten hyperpigmentation even out the skin tone help to fit dark spots on the skin improve the skin radiance generally it just makes the skin glow which is what i am looking to achieve um for this particular product and so i am going for a vitamin c themed product by using ingredients that are rich in vitamin c so some of the ingredients i am going to be using in making this product are going to be ingredients that are known to be rich in vitamin c so uh now i know the type of ingredients uh the type of products rather that i want to make i'm, I'm making a vitamin c themed product now moving on to my product aesthetics um my product aesthetics is just about what i want my skin my my product to look like what i want it to feel like spread like etc those kind of things so i want my black soap paste to have a slightly thin consistency like that of a smoothie i don't want something thick like the uh the uh common black soap out there they tend to be thick mm -mm. i i i've made a black soap with that consistency before and i find out it's um kind of you have to rub and rub to work it into lather so i figured making something in uh with a smoothie consistency will make it easy to work into foam because i'm always um i'm always targeting i'm always ensuring to make to uh, make my customers enjoy using my products and so i put them into consideration in everything that i do concerning making products for them so um i'm making which is why i'm making a smoothie form uh paste so um and then i want you to have a silky feel on the skin i want it to spread easily with a creamy foam these um these uh uh what i just described um the the texture the feel on the skin is what i just described the way i want it to feel the way i want it to uh foam is what i just described so i am going to achieve these properties with my choice of ingredients my choice of ingredients is going to determine the kind of texture that i get the kind of feel that i get for my product so my my choice of ingredients will 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 go a long way to contribute to the feel and texture so i also want it to rinse off nicely without drying out the skin this is totally up to my choice of product or uh, my choice of ingredients rather it's also totally up to my choice of ingredients and i want it to feel at, i want my skin to feel hydrated after washing it off i don't want it to leave my skin dry and all and so i am going to concentrate on choosing those ingredients that tend to hydrate the skin so this is the reason why you need to go through the step in order to help you imagine to know the kind of thing you're trying to achieve to know the kind of product you are trying to make this is the purpose of uh going through these steps so um going on to choose my ingredients um i chose this ingredients based on the um the uh properties that i have described so far the kind of um consistency the kind of feel the kind of texture that i want my products to have this my my choice of ingredients were totally based on those properties that i want my products to have so um before going on to explain my ingredients um First of all, I get my ingredients from allorganics.ng. Um, I've been getting my ingredients for, from them for about a year now, and I am loving, I've loved it so far. They, they, I, I get high quality ingredients from them. Their ingredients are top quality. You can be rest assured you are getting 
quality ingredients from them if you're getting ingredients from them you don't have to worry about uh is this original has it expired you don't have to worry about worry get worried about all those aspects so you um i like to get my ingredients from them because i'm always confident i'm getting the right ones and um I also like the fact that she gives information, information like um, pH, information like solubility, uh, the usage rates, um, information you need as a formulator to work with a particular ingredient you are getting. She gives them, She uh, it's always on her page. I follow her on Instagram. You can also follow her. Her handle on Instagram is... um at allorganics.ng she gives information detailed information about uh the ingredients she sells so i just i kind of i'm just so used to getting ingredients from her i i've loved the ingredients i've gotten so far so you can try out i got all these ingredients from her all the ingredients i'm working with in this formulation i got everything from her so you can try it out and by the way this is not a sponsored ad i just love the fact that i our ingredients are quality and i feel i should share it with you to help you to make a high performance product so please um you are totally free to get your ingredients elsewhere i just i'm just hoping to ensure you get the right ingredients for you for your production so moving on to my choice of ingredients now i got this particular ghana black soap from her it is quite softer than the normal black soap you get in the market so i totally love it and also i found out that it is less drying than the normal black soaps out there which is um what one thing i'm aiming for in this particular product so i totally loved it and i used this black soap and um i'm using distilled water as my solvent to dissolve my black soap you are free to use another solvent it's totally up to you i'm using rose hip powder for its vitamin c content i told you before i am going for a vitamin c themed product and so i'm using rose hip powder for its vitamin c content i'm also using amla powder and lemon peel powder these two powders are the botanical herbs that i'm using in this product and they are both also rich in vitamin c which is why i have chosen them which um they also tend to have some other benefits for the skin but the, the main purpose why i've chosen them is their vitamin c content and also uh, so that is for the vitamin c part of my product i'm using i'm using these three powders to achieve that my rose hip powder amla and lemon peel and then for um the hydrating parts of my product for the hydrating part for the soft feel part for the um uh, for for the feel for the texture parts uh these four ingredients are the ingredients that i use to achieve that result pure honey honey quart shea butter and coconut oil now um i'm using pure honey because it's going to is uh pure honey is the one giving it um pure honey and the honey quart these two ingredients are the one giving my black soap that very soft feel on the skin and um my shea butter and coconut oil are ensuring they are the ones reducing the drying effect of the black soap um, pure honey also contributes to reducing the dry effect of the black soap so these four ingredients combined together first of all reduce the drying effect makes it more hydrating and leaves and ha makes it have a soft feel on the skin so you can understand the importance of defining the kind of product you want to make prior to formulating them because it will help you make wise choices when choosing your ingredients so um that is what those four ingredients are serving in my product now i am looking using liquid gemmal plus as my preservative it is very important for you to preserve your product products that contains water needs to be preserved you must preserve products that contains water if you don't want bacteria and mold and every other things dramatically growing on your product it's important for you to preserve them and so i'm using liquid gemmal plus for this purpose for this purpose so um finally 
um the smell of black soap is not something that i personally like and so i am using papaya mango fragrance oil to improve the smell of my black soap so these are the ingredients that i'm going to be using for this particular product so moving on to my formula uh i drew this formula uh during the weekend while i was working uh, on the content for this class so first of all you are not going to find this formula elsewhere because it's the formula i made myself and you are totally free to use it that is the purpose of this class i want you to try it out and see whether it is uh it is serving the purpose that i said it is going to serve so um um but please always before before going on it is important for you to note that soap whatever kind of cleanser whether a soap whether a liquid wash anything that are using on your skin they are not staying on your skin for a long period of time so the function their function their benefit on the skin is quite limited if you want something that will and uh, that will deliver results you have to combine a wash off products with leave on products to achieve the final results you want and so this black soap is not enough to give you a brighter and more glowing complexion but it's going to assist in the process so um i'm just saying this for you to note it down so um let me get back to my formula i have um put together this formula in such a way that it's going to be easy for you to understand and it's going to be easy for you to work with it so I have uh, carefully grouped my ingredients into phases and then I have stated the functions here for you to know what each formula is serving in 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 the uh, in your product and then I have put together my formula in percentage here which is what we do in formulation we write our in, we, are, we write out our formula in percentage uh, at the end of the day is always in, equal to 100% and then I have I have taking it a step further to make a five on to prepare a 500 gram batch of this product for you and so my calculations here under the weight following this calculation will give you exactly 500 gram batch of your product so if you are looking to make something smaller or something bigger like a larger batch all you need to do is convert from percentage to gram so if you don't know how to do this uh, I'm going to be making a post about this soon, but it's not something that it's hard to do. It's just a quick math. All you need to do is just convert from your percentage to the gram you're making. If you're starting out to make this formula for the first time, so you don't waste your ingredients to ensure it is exactly the way I have said it, you need to test it out first. Make a very small badge, like a 50 or 100 gram badge. This will ensure you do not waste too much of your ingredients. So just start out with something small first and then once you are certain that it turns out well, you can go on to make larger badges. So um, um, now for my ingredients, I'm using black soap as my surfactant. It is the, uh, is the major surfactant here, giving your product the cleansing and um, foaming properties it's have it has rather and um, i'm using shea butter as my emollient here to combat dryness at 2.5 percent i'm using the ghana black soap as 52 percent which is enough to make your product foam well i'm using shea butter at 2.5 percent trust me this percentage is enough to give your your soap the uh the the effect it is supposed to don't go on to uh pack a lot of shea butter in your product to just make it not foam at all and then you might uh, start experiencing your maybe you notice your shea butter starts to clump up on its own back this percentage is enough it is well thought out for this particular formula so i'm using pure honey at 25 percent here which is my humectant first of all to combat the drying effect and then to give my product the soft feel that i want it to have so i'm using it at 25 percent i'm using distilled water as my solvent to dissolve my black soap then rose hip powder amla powder lemon peel powder these three powders are giving me my vitamin c rose hip powder is the extract i'm using at 1.2 percent and then amla powder and lemon peel powder are just botanical herbs and i'm using them at 1.5 percent each to attain the vitamin c effect that i want and then honey quartz is my conditioning agent here i'm using it as high as three percent 
it is uh for my black soap for it to be as hydrating as uh i want it to be i am using it at three percent so um coconut oil i'm using coconut oil with shea butter as emollient to um to reduce the drying effect of my black soap so i'm using coconut oil at 1.5 percent and then i'm using my liquid gemal plus at 0.5 percent this amount is enough to preserve your product and i'm using fa fr uh, my fragrance at one percent it is enough to make your product smell very nice so the combination of these ingredients is going to birth a very nice product at the end of the day if you do it the right way so um for the final ph of my product i i'm leaving it at 7.5 gram as what did i just say i am so sorry i'm leaving it at 7.5 now the reason why um you it is important here it's a pH is a whole course on its own. If you want to learn about pH, it's a whole course on its own. But for the purpose of this class, I'm going to explain a little about it. So, um, pH of black soap is mostly around eight nine. Is that high? It is high for the for the, uh, is high compared to the pH of the skin, which makes it irritating for the skin. So, it is very important for you to reduce the ph of your black soap to a ph as low as possible to a ph where your black soap will saponify at the same time it will not irritate your skin too much because there is no way this is not going to cause a little irritation because the uh the ph of black soap is just generally too high so but at 7.5 percent there is low chance of irritation and um plus um just ensure it is no, uh, plus or minus 0 0.2 at the end of the day uh, so i am keeping the ph at 7.5 so um that is all for my formula now moving on to the procedure for production i have put out this procedure in such a way that it will make it very easy for you to make this product first of all Measure out all your ingredients using a high precision scale, something that can measure as low as 0.1 gram or 0.01 gram. Um, I have these two types of scales. I use both 0.1 gram and 0.01 gram. Now, the two is okay for you to use. Use any of the two is okay, but don't use anything higher than that for precision. Now, um, after measuring out your ingredients, the, fir the first thing you need to do is um pour your ingredients in phase a in a heat resistant container because you need to heat so um you are going to be heating the ingredients in phase a in a water bath to dissolve it you are e eating your black soap and your shea butter for it to dissolve so i don't want too much heat in um black soap i don't want to apply too much heat which is why i'm using a water bath to regulate the amount of heat it gets so dissolve it in a water bath if you are making a 500 gram batch in 20 minutes your black soap should be completely dissolved so once it is completely dissolved switch off the heat and add the ingredients in phase b which is honey add honey to your black soap and then mix very well if you are making a 500 gram batch the spatula is enough to mix it otherwise if you are making a larger batch you might need an industrial grade and mixer to do the job for you so um after mixing in the honey the next thing to mix in is the ingredient in your face see which is your distilled water now i am separating these two to ensure your black soap does not lump up you don't want it um, lumping you want everything to be homogeneous to mix together which is why i am separating it into these phases so you can just add your water slowly and mix it in to ensure it does not lump up because then you have to wait for it to dissolve again which is something i don't want to wait for so after mixing in your water all you have to do is allow your soap to cool down preferably lower than uh, below 45 degrees celsius reason being that the ingre some of the ingredients in phase d can be um can be the integrity in the integrity sorry the integrity can be tampered with 
if you use it at a temperature higher than 45 degrees Incoolant like liquid Jamal plus is sensitive to heat. So I tend to make this I tend to add the ingredients in phase D when my black soap is completely cool. So once it's below 45 degrees Celsius, you can add all the other ingredients, which are the ingredients in your phase D. So after doing this, stir well and uh com uh stir well to combine until it becomes homogeneous. So just stir it up. After doing that, um, cover and leave to set for a few hours. Um, let it um let it uh absorb all the ingredients you have put into it. So I kind of leave it for a few hours so that all the absorption is properly done. They are properly mixed in. So after a few hours, you can just uh open it up again, mix it well, and then it is time to package in a clean jar now this is all for this class like this is it this is all you have to do to make this particular black soap that i just described and um using this black soap on your skin for about four weeks you will notice your skin you will notice improvement on your skin um there are some improvements you will notice immediately upon first usage um you will notice your skin feels hydrated after washing off this black soap immediately and then you feel the texture of the black soap you feel it is soft on your skin it is not um it is not um uh, harsh it is not rough on your skin you feel uh, the soft texture on your skin due to your choice of ingredients and so um you can see the reason why it is important for you to go through all those steps that you had to go through before making your products that is just the importance so um i want to see reviews about this class uh on uh about this class take a screenshot of this class and post it on your insta stories i want to see I want to know you attended this class just uh tag me on your insta story to see your reviews about this class i would love to see them i am begging for it yes please i want to know how this class has helped you to help me improve on my classes uh coming up in the future so please leave me a review tell me about how this class has helped you you can also leave me a comment here to know uh to uh to know about how the class has helped you and all thank you very much for sticking with me to the end of this class this is the end of the class now before i go let me take this opportunity to introduce you to um my uh my course my mini course coming up uh february which is next month i'm going to be uh, having a black soap mini course where i'm going to be teaching you in details how to formulate a black soap how to make a black soap that works all the uh all the necessary um uh, all the necessary things you need to do all the uh, uh things you need to consider the um ingredients how to combine the ingredients to achieve results i'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about black soap formulation in this class now if you have signed up for this class automatically you are as uh, you are part of my email subscribers and so i'm going to be sending you emails after this class uh please ensure to check my emails i'm going to be sending you more values um more free values for you to uh, uh to know how um, black soap to know more about black soap first of all and then i'm going to send you email subsequently about the class about the mini course so i'm going to send you the details about the mini course the um and one th um and if you are part of my subscriber list you're going to be getting the course first i'm going to be um sending you the emails first before taking it to my instagram and so you get the chance to uh have um a um, huge discount on the course you are going to be paying uh you are going to be you're not going to be paying the full amount for the course i'm going to be giving you the chance to get a huge discount on the course to get it at uh, at a lower price than the value so it is an opportunity for you so i'm going to also re um post on instagram once i send out the emails for you to so I'm going to remind you to check your emails in your inbox. So you're going to be getting the class at a discounted price. And then after that, the class is going to go to its normal price. If you don't get it before, then you have to, you have to pay the whole, the full price to get access to the class. So ensure you check your emails. Once this email, once the class is out, I'm going to let you know. 
through your emails. So thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of the class. I hope I really I have delivered the um the uh, value that I promised to you in this class. I hope this class has helped you. And please don't forget to leave me reviews about this how this class has helped you. Please, it will help me to um it will help me to um improve my my skills it will help me to improve the values that i give out to you and if you have any questions regarding this class you are free to hop into my dm i'm always happy to answer your questions so please don't hesitate to ask me questions about this class i'm um, in my dm and please don't forget to leave me reviews thank you so much for listening to me thank you so much for sticking to the end of this class I I really appreciate your time with me. So, uh this is the end of the class. Do have a lovely day. Bye-bye. But with elevate